Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, getting ready to play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Online, version 0. .25. In 2020, that's, that's where we are. And, or I should say when we are. Last evening, I finished the Barachi Hunter with a miraculous 15 rune victory, a romp through the game's content. So, now it's time to start a new species and background combo uh, to help myself learn how to play the game, to get better at it, and hopefully, you know, entertain you guys and also perhaps inform you about things with different characters that you may or may not have tried and so for me what I'm trying to do is like just deepen my overall understanding by winning with as many species backgrounds that I can so I'm gonna pick a simple species and just kind of work over on the list I mean we do have an advanced win with the Barachi and we did win um, you know with a demon spawn uh, and a deep dwarf got far with an ogre. We got a 15 rune win with a knoll. Uh, we got far with a spriggan. But I'm trying to get wins. I want to get those fun achievements that you can get, uh, you know, in the Discord or wherever that tell people that you've played the game and um, had some modest successes. It's just kind of a fun little you know, goal to shoot for. So, Hillork, Minotaur, Merfolk, Gargoyle, I've done. These, I have not won with. So, I'm going to look at Draconian, and I would like to get some aptitude information. Oh, let me uh, try that again. Here we go. So, Draconian is... Uh, where are we going? I want to look at invocations. I am going to follow... My good friend E-Nonsense was suggesting that I try Ydremel as a god, which is like the necromantic corpse army god, I believe. I've never really experimented with that. So I thought that sounds interesting. And, you know, I like to take people's recommendations who jump in. So I'm going to give it a go. Let's see here. Draconian. I'm looking for invocations. Um, where is that information? Here it is. Okay, so Draconian is plus one. That's pretty good. Um, Ghoul is also plus one. Okay. That's really all I'm looking at. And I know that's dumb, but... um. Ghoul is interesting to me just because they're undead. And so if I took it into extended, I would be in that rare situation that I've never been in, which is that torment, uh, I'd be immune to it. Now, I know that Dispel Undead becomes a reality, but it might be fun just to switch it up in that way. Um, we rot eternally. Now... The only downside of Ghoul is that they are changing Ghoul, I believe, in the next version of the game. Uh, but that won't come out for several months. So it might be fun to like try the Ghoul here and then see what the changes are. Um, so I'm going to do a Ghoul and then I'm just going to start it out like as something pretty simple. Uh... I'm going to start as a fighter. I think Necromancer isn't the worst idea, but um, let me see my aptitudes again um, as a ghoul. So, uh, I'm bad at armor. I'm bad at dodging. I'm sneaky. Um, I get 10% more hit points than normal. Not good with magic. Standard magic resistance. Um, 
fine at fighting. Minus one aptitudes to all weapons, but I'm good with no weapon. Um, mm-hmm. And then I'm, yeah, I'm terrible at most spells except for ice and earth magic. And I'm zero at necromancy. Okay. So I think the idea probably is that I just play a fighter, but I don't use a weapon. Um, that I just go claws. Okay. Wow, look at that intelligence. I mean, I'm undead, so this happens. Okay, so let me look at my situation. My body is rotting away. You thrive on meat. You're immune to poison. You have sharp fingernails. <laughs> What's up, rabid vermin? Yeah, man, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this, you know, undead summoning guy and see how it works. The ghoul might not be the species that works for this. I'm not sure. But I want to try it anyway. Um, all right. So... Let's look at my skills, and let's tweak them. Mm. I'm going to turn off armor for now. And just keep these on. What armor do I have... I have scale. Okay. I know that having a shield slows down my offhand attack, um, but if I train shields up, I should be okay. So, the nice thing about unarmed is that <laughs> you, at least, you know, you generally hit pretty easily. Let me just step back. All right, so I know I'm terrible with um, ranged attacks, but I probably do want to get um, some kind of range going that I can throw. Boomerangs would be fine. Javelins would be better. I was, you know, going to try to be more of a hybrid character with this and look into... Um, spellcasting, but it looks like ghouls are pretty bad at spellcasting. So, I'll worry about that later. Um, I'm going to take strength. It's early in the game. I'm just trying to survive. I know that my intelligence is prohibitively bad. But, we'll worry about that later. Let's just, let's just not die and kill things with our claws and be a crazy ghoul. All right. How many scrolls do I have? Let's read them. Identify. Very nice. Um, what's this red potion? Potion of flight? Well, meh. Teleportation and remove curse. Great. All right. Um, I'm going to pick up these stones. How many? Okay, now I've got 19. That's good enough. All right. Uh, that's a lot of enemies. I'm going to back up into this hallway and just see how it goes fighting them one on one. It went fine. It's kind of like playing a troll so far with the claws. They just hit very easily um, and they do a lot of damage. So you have a nice strong start, except I do have, you know, some decent armor. So. So far, so good. I hope, I really hope that this whole food thing with the ghoul doesn't crush it, where it's like I have to have meat and I run out. And, you know, I don't know how it works with rations. Um, it might discourage any kind of 
deep run if it you know it becomes an issue but i'm not going to worry about that right now hey level four well there's my buddy nem and there's some javelins actually Let's get these javelins and let's quiver the javelins instead of the stones. And I'm actually going to drop the stones forever. All right. Hello, Mr. Rat. I'd like to know the mathematics sometime behind the drawback of you do not regenerate while monsters are visible um because it's interesting to think about like how many hit points would you actually regenerate while monsters are while you're fighting how long does a fight last how much are we talking about it doesn't seem to be that huge but maybe I mean, i'm sure um Oh, thank you, Rabid, for that tip. Okay, so it doesn't satiate you as well as just eating raw monster flesh, um, but you can do it to deal with the rotting. The nice thing, too, is I believe um, you're carnivorous and can meet and eat meat any time, so they're kind of like trolls in that they can, you know, just eat and get engorged or whatever. They don't have to be hungry to eat raw flesh, so... You know, I think that should should work itself out well. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm going to read this. No, I'm not done yet. I'm going to read my Identify scroll, though. And let's check out a pile of potions. I always think green and blue potions, um, well, I was going to say are good. But look at that. Uh, that just flew in my face. But at least we know not to drink those. Hand crossbow is cool. I have such fond memories of the crossbow from last game. All right. Let's go down. Oh, interesting. So ghouls can't even get uh, engorged. Oh, and it doesn't reverse rot. It just slows it down. I see. Okay. I, I see. So you just slow down the process of your body falling apart. It's kind of a funny thing to think about that I'm just walking around and my body is actively disintegrating. I mean, like, normally for people, that's the case, that you're actively disintegrating. But it's pretty slow. You got, you got a, you know, a whole lifetime to deal with that. But the ghoul like the arm might fall off so we gotta eat so we'll eat all these these dudes being immune to poison is pretty amazing the whole undead thing but unlike a mummy i can freely drink potions so that's also nice all right let's kill these dudes let me look around for um have i seen any heavier armor no just ring me on leather that's what i thought I will be trying to get, you know, crystal plate at some point. There's Rue, my good buddy Rue. Mm, amulet, huh? All right. Oh, orc wizard all by his lonesome there, surrounded by deep water. Well, I think we'll kind of try to find a different way around. Uh-oh. The iguana's coming after me. You know, I do have a scroll of Remove Curse. And so with one scroll of Remove Curse, I think I feel okay putting on this amulet. Wow. Well, interesting. And then this ring. <laughs> Two worthless items. Um, I mean, the Amulet of Faith might be good later, but uh, I'm going to take it off for now. All 
I'm all right. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, but I've got all this flesh on me. Yeah, eat it. Alright, let's look at this again. Is there any way... Am, and how much content am I missing by not fighting you? I just want to make sure there's not, like, an entrance to the ecumenical temple or... Well, of course not. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go down. Oh, there's Kiku, I guess. Okay, so... Or not Kiku, the drum man. It's the drum guy. Uh, let me read these scrolls. Amnesia. Enchant armor. Terrific. We will enchant the shield. All right. The Phantom is really hard. He's looking angrily at me. I've got to be aware. Um, I'll try to fight him right here and then go up the stairs and hopefully shake him if it doesn't go well. I do have this potion of might because I'm a fighter, so I started with that. That I can use if he starts shredding me. I want to throw a javelin at him too. There we go. Wow, he was an experienced bag. Look at that. Fighting, shields, unarmed, all leveled up, and we got level six. Um, we're going to get stronger. Urgh, I'm strong. Oh, okay. We're going to take this snake upstairs by itself and eat it. And then I'm going to take this wizard. Oh, he didn't come up. Oh, no, he did, didn't he? Uh, he turned invisible. I'll have to go down a different way. Interesting. I found kind of the same type of enemies, but in a different place. That's fine. He's got a special axe for himself. And by special, I mean cursed minus one. Pretty damn good, dude. All right. Let's hope he doesn't smite me. And he's got chain mail. Can I get your chain mail? And I'm going to wear your chain mail. And my armor class goes up. And I'm happy. All right, let's just fight these wizards. Terrific. Let me look at my shield really fast. I think it's 14, is that right? 15. All right, all right, all right. For me, the attack speed delay of a shield um, is pretty much... All right, this is bad. I need to just fight this one at a time. Is pretty much always um, not a concern because... I'm just going to go up the stairs. Oh, it's interesting that those stairs didn't put me in the center island. Oh, well. Anyway. Um... Wearing a shield is so important that I don't care about the fact that um, my attacks are slightly slower. I used my might potion there because that was a bad spot. I don't really have any emergency buttons right now. All right. Forgot about that. Auto Explorer is always going to just take me there on this floor. All right. Um... I do have an identify though, so let's try these pink potions. There we go. We've got a little bit of healing now. Oh, an amulet. What's up, E-Nonsense? How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm going to try um, this ghoul fighter as a Ydremel ghoul. I, I saw that they had plus one invocations, and that seemed good enough. Yeah, you know, give it a shot. I've never beat the game with a ghoul. I've never beat the game using Ydremel. Um, so it would provide me with two firsts. Hmm. 
Hmm. There you go. Get out of here, buddy. Ball python. Guess what? You can't poison me. I don't care about it. All right. Um. What do I have? I have an amulet. I'm going to drop my scale mail. I'll save it. I'll save my remove curse for a bit. There's vehement. Sure. All right, let's bring these ghouls around. Uh, this is fine. I'm going to wait to throw my javelins until I can hit more than one. Look at these javelins just doing work. Absolutely murdering those guys. All right. Potion, potion. Ah, the old orc priest smiting me. I know, I know. All right. Okay. Oop, dart slug. Get out of here. All right. So let me just double check some items. I have... Yeah, I have the strongest armor on. Anything else that turns up good, like... I haven't seen any gloves or any boots or a cloak. Okay. I didn't think so. You never know. All right. Let me try to see what scroll this is. It is fear. All right. Let's get him. What do we got? Fog. All right. Let's bring these jackals back into the smoky corridor. All right. Let's hit this phantom with our supply of javelins. Look at that. We got him. It wasn't easy. Oh, I'm hungry? Oh, okay, well. Let's eat some of these people. I mean, I, I lose, use the word people loosely. Okay, great. So let's see if we can find the god we're looking for. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, that's Kiku. Nope. Nope. There he is. Look at that purple. All right. So, um, Yeredlemnol. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yeredlemnol. Whatever. I'm just going to call it, um, Yered. And he's a dark god worshipped by those who seek powers over death and the undead. Yes. I mean, I've been seeking that my whole life. Followers can raise legions of servile undead and gain a number of other useful powers with which to make better use of the souls of the living. Okay, also good. Yered especially favors those who would destroy holy creatures which oppose the realm of undeath and the non-living which exist outside of it. I will destroy all creatures, so, you know. You can reanimate remains. You can recall your undead dudes. You can mirror injuries onto your foes. That's hilarious. You can animate legions of the dead. Awesome. Um, I can just get servants with piety. Oh, interesting, Rabid. Thank you for that. It makes sense. So they're enemies. They're, um, you can drain ambient life force. And you can enslave living souls. These are all things that I want to do. And so let's try it. Let's just explore the rest of this. And we are done. Alright. Beautiful. So we are now experience level 8. We're on dungeon 4. We've got a god. And we've got claws. So let's, let's keep looking around. See what we find. Another amulet. I'm on amulet patrol, apparently. Look at that. A f another amulet. 
I got one, two, three, four amulets. One for every level of the dungeon. Now there's a buckler. There is something to be said for like, I could put on this buckler. And then my shield skill, which is at five, um, would probably be enough at this point. It, I think you need a seven skill to completely nullify the effects of it to make it so it wouldn't slow me down. However, my shield my chance to block would drop so much. I just don't care for bucklers too much unless I'm like a spellcaster. Um, all right. So I'm not going to pick... Long story short, I'm not going to take that. Look, just for as an example. The centaur shoots. You block it. The centaur shoots. You block. The centaur shoots. You block. This is why I like having a shield. And a big, the bigger the shield, the better. Um, this guy just got wrecked by my shield. And my, my skill isn't even that tremendous. Oh. Astuccio. Astuccio. I have nothing to evoke. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm not super pumped about it. I do have fear and teleport though. So I'll just try to throw some javelins at this guy, see what he thinks about it. And just try to hit him with my claws until um, he doesn't like it anymore. He shouldn't like it ever, really. Yeah, cool. That's what I thought. I didn't think I didn't think you were there, Astuccio. I would have liked you to have some better stuff on you, but I'll take your experience. I have a great story to tell the other ghouls about killing Astuccio. My dexterity got sapped. I don't know if that's because I rotted. Oh, is that crazy you with? All right, let me see what kind of cloak you got, dude. Plus two cloak of magic resistance is 100%. I want that. Um, and so I am going to fight you. Your chaos item is a little scary. I can't deny that. But I'm going to just try to fight you anyway and hope that it doesn't kill me. All right, got my some of my dexterity back. And let's get this beautiful cloak that you have. And let's chop up your corpse, and then let's put on this cloak. Boom. Look at that. AC jumped up four there. I will take it. Alright. I still haven't found any stronger armor, I don't think. Oh, I have another scroll of enchant armor, though. Great, so I can uh, enchant my shield again. I have a unknown scroll, magic mapping, unknown, random uselessness, and vulnerability. Okay. Making good progress on the scrolls. Identify. We will read this immediately and check this. these yellow potions. Invisibility. Okay. Let's kill some of these very loud monkeys and get some monkey meat. Ooh, there's Prince Ribbit. There's a pair of gloves. I don't know if I can actually wear gloves with my claws. Um, I only have claws one, so I can wear the gloves. I don't know if my claws get bigger as I level up, but for now I can wear gloves. Yeah, you nonsense. You're right. It only applies to Clause 3. That's why I was looking, and I have Clause 1, and so I'm good. I just didn't know, like, if, you know, later in the game, if I got bigger Clause. Probably not. But, anyway. I'm good. Let's just give Prince Ribbit a javelin. Hey, Cassiopeia, what's up? Good to see you. Hope all is well. Um... Dude, I'm with you, you nonsense. I've only played Ghoul a little bit, and I didn't get very far. Prince Ribbit is doing a number on me. 
Where'd you go, Prince Ribbit? Well. Oh, what's up, Snack? How's it going? You have a Minotaur Berserker who's cleared Orc and Lair and D13? Oh, man, that's awesome, Cassiopeia. Good job. Yeah, it feels so good when you actually, you know, get a good run going. Um, orc in the lair is good. This is usually where you die. Yeah, you know, there's all these little bumps in the game where you hit these learning curves um, where you just kind of slowly get more knowledge and get a little bit further and then a little bit further. It depends on the gear and, if you know, the luck and everything. But no, I think I feel a good one. I feel like um, you're going to be okay. Which branches do you have? Do you have uh, the spider nest or the uh, snake pit? I'd check one of those out if I were you. I'd do spider. I'd do the spider. Save the shoal and the slime for a little bit later. That's me, though. So, Snack, are you saying that um, in your experience with Ghoul, with Ghoul that you basically switch to a weapon at some point and you stop using your claws, that they don't scale up for the whole game? Mm. Well, I mean, the thing for me about Unarmed is, you know, you run into these situations where you find some weapon that has a bunch of brands or, you know, um, buffs and stuff on it that you want. And that seems to usually outstrip Yeah. Alright. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I feel like Unarmed hits extraordinarily well. Like, it has, it has very high accuracy. It has good speed. It has good damage that, that scales up with you as well um, as your Unarmed skill goes up. So, it's just always, like, pretty good. Especially at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. You'd think it would fall off, but if you can, um, yeah, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Mm. I'm going to teleport away. I don't like this. What wand is this, by the way? Random effects? Boo. All right. I'm hungry. I'm going to just eat this ration. Wow, that's pretty good. Do you lose some unarmed damage if you put gloves on? Wow, I had no idea. Well, I hope I, I didn't put my gloves on, so then I won't. Let's see what Disintegration does to you. Yeah, I need a good hit on you. You can actually do a pretty good amount of damage, Ribs. Oh! My god, that's a murder scene right there. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can actually see that displayed um, on the info panel up here. So this would change from claws to nothing wielded if I put those gloves on. Look at this explosion. This was Prince Rivet. Prince Rivet used to be here. He turned into purple smoke and blood splatters as he was disintegrated.
That's right, man. And <laughs> the pr <laughs> that prince is paint for the room. That's right, uh, you know, sense and frog meat. So we got some frog legs and we got some decoration. It's like they have some, you know, yeah, red wall paint and uh, some red wine carpeting. Whoa, the frog jokes are coming out. Now that I'm not playing Barachi anymore, you guys are all about the uh, anti-frog. No, I'm just joking. Um, it isn't easy being green. Prince Ribbit is tough. You should have the option of kissing him, you know? And then he would turn into, like, just a an ally who, who wants to get out of the dungeon. All right, I'm going with strength. Let's pick up all this food. What do you mean the main downfall of ghoul unarmed combat is no forms? Oh, I see what you mean. Right. So you can't do like, um, I got you. I got you. You know what, Cassiopeia, you're hundred percent right. And like, it seems weird. Like, I'm in here getting Zot's orb. Shouldn't I be the protagonist? That seems like a heroic thing to do. I'm realizing now, though, that I'm I'm no hero. But no blade hands is what you're saying. <laughs> oh man this i know this epic apple thing is just like you know two extremely wealthy spoiled kids fighting each other out i you know though it um not to get off topic of uh dungeon crawl too severely but it's interesting to me. I had no idea. I'm just, you know, I don't know a lot of things about the world, but how much money Apple and Google make um, with their mobile platforms in the way that they monetize things so that they just get a cut of every single purchase made. It's got to be billions of dollars that they make just taking flat cuts of every mobile purchase that people do. Oh, grinder, you got Yeah, I mean, it feels like um I don't know, you know, again, I don't know a lot about the world, but it, it reminds me of there was this time. Yeah, I think that Epic actually isn't like, it's not David versus Goliath, you know, and Epic's just trying to be like, hey, can't we, you know, get a better deal at the table here? Um, and I understand that. And I like that somebody's trying to stand up to them. Yeah, it is. It's totally true. But Epic Games... Um, Epic Games is sweet. They give you free games. Yeah, Epic is trying to, like, get in, get in over on Apple and on Steam at the same time. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, it reminds me of... There was a bookseller that tried to take on Amazon. There was, like, a big publisher... And they were pissed about Amazon's cuts. And Amazon just completely smashed them and blackballed them. And uh, now no one, there's no one that's large enough in terms of the book industry to do anything about Amazon's cut. Amazon just took all of their books off of their websites. Um, and the dip in their sales was so profound that they had to play ball basically
All right, Pico. I'm going to try and... Yeah, no, it is like a Monopoly, and that's why I think that... Um... Epic suing Apple is trying to say, hey, look, they clearly have a monopoly. Like, we need to be in some kind of... Uh, oh, the slaves. The slaves are blocking. Oh, that's too bad. The slaves really did their job there. There we go. Oh, yeah, everybody gets in an uproar about timed exclusives. It's unreal. Exclusive this, exclusive that. I know, there's so much, like, anti... feeling online right now with, like, the new consoles coming out and everybody representing one or the other. I'm, like, whatever. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, I, I want them. I just don't have enough money to buy both of them. So. All right. Yeah, cr crossplay is awesome. I'm, I'm all about it. Most of the major stuff has it. All right, I'm going to read a scroll of fear. And... Um, get out of here. The iguana. That's right, Cassiopeia. Free to play. I would love, you know, like, sometimes on Steam, what I like to do is look at how many hours. Why are these slaves against me? Because I read the fear scroll? Did I accidentally hit them? Like, I killed Pykel. They shouldn't be pissed. Did the fear scroll piss him off? Oh well, whatever. Um, well, if can I get experience for them now? Because <laughs> aww. Come on. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying is on, on Steam what I do is I try to see like how much money I paid for a game and how many hours I played for it. And if I can get a game to be like, you know, like some games like Civilization or, you know, Slay the Spire, some kind of game that I've played for countless hours where it's like a penny per hour. Dungeon Crawl would be like that. It'd be like a fraction of a penny per hour in terms of cost. Honestly, I think, I wish they would like, you know how, um, uh, Dwarf Fortress is releasing itself on Steam. I would, if they would just release Dungeon Crawl like through Steam, and it was the exact game, I would just buy it to support the developers. If it was like 15, 20 bucks or whatever, you know what I mean? Just to keep the game going. You know how much money I would pay, by the way, for sound effects in this game? It would be an extraordinary sum. I mean, we, we got to kickstart sound effects. Fully toggleable, you know, nobody has to use them if they don't want to. But I always like the sound of... No, I don't want that. You know what? I booted up that... Um... Necrodancer, the Hyrule one, the Zelda Necrodancer game, um, and I just, I, I'm not actually usually that bad at rhythm games, but that game, I, it was too hard for me, I just couldn't get it, could not get it, gave up. Yeah. 
I might need to just boot it up again. And it, it just, there was something about, I was just off on it. By the way, I've got my undead army brewing. And you can bet that this human is joining it. So, how does um, animating a living remains and butchering the corpse interact? Can I still get the flesh off of the corpse? Does it change how the animation process works? Is it like skeleton versus zombie? Like, if I eat it, does it become a skeleton? Okay. And does that mean that they're, um, does that mean they're fundamentally weaker? Like, is, or, or does it not matter? Gosh, that's terrible. I'm hungry. I'm a ghoul. I want to eat stuff. Okay. Well, I got to do what I can. All right, let's get our health back. Ooh. All right, so let's animate this. You fail to use your ability. Ooh, I probably need to train invocations. Let's turn off fighting. Wow, okay, so you got to be careful. But how does this work with these undead dudes? Do they stay forever? Like, on the whole floor, basically? They don't ever unsummon. It, they just stay until they get killed? Okay, so they're permanent, but they can't leave their floor. So even if I use, like, my ability to summon them, it only works on the floor that they were spawned on. Well, that's fine. I guess it would get ridiculous if you were just carrying around an animated army through the entire game. Oh, here comes my... Oh, but the gifted guys. There you go. That's cool. I love it. Alright, pigs. I want some pigs on my team. Come on. Yes. What in God's name is that? The hog zombie looks suspiciously like a little dog. Oh, interesting. How do you drop it on people? You Can, can you recall those summoned allies to you wherever you are? Or do you have to go back to that floor and get them? Oh, okay, Rabbit. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, like we said, it's a free game. They can't create a sprite for every single thing. Wow, as long as you're not in the abyss, you can bring those dudes? That's sweet. I can't wait. How am I doing, piety-wise? I'm at the bottom of the stack. But it is pimp that... Uh, Animate Remains does not cost piety. Love it. I see. Alright, well then I'll do that. When I get to that point. Right now it's just me animating things. Um, yikes, alright. Well, let's just animate this guy then throw a javelin try to disintegrate you once you got blasted ogre um, let's animate you try it again hey hey look at that ogre ogre's arms all right let's get him um, I'm actually going to eat this guy. I'm hungry. 
I need to eat. All right. Oh, Erica's down there, huh? I love it. I love this. I'm going to get more. It's a good question, Rabbit. The one thing I will say is that I sh it should be sped up time-wise in terms of turns a little bit because I can't get tormented, so I won't need to rest as much. But I have no idea how this type of character plays in Extended. I have no idea how this character plays in Dungeon 8. Man, I can't hit Erica to save my life. This character doesn't play Extended. Well, then there you go. All right, um, Erica. Well, I could switch gods, though, right? I can switch. Uh, not any of the good gods, right? Because they won't take me because I'm undead. Is that correct? No good god will accept me. So I'd have to find another god. But I could do like, I could do Rue. You know, or, um, I mean, there's lots of gods that are options. All right. Can I paralyze you? No. Can I disintegrate you? Not really. Let me see if I can hit you hard enough, fast enough. It's going to get be close. So we got her. Alright, so we killed her, which is fantastic, but we still have a lot of enemies left here. So I just need to uh, teleport and then just walk away. Look at this. Two more amulets to add to my amulet collection. That is one, two, three four five six amulets found through dungeon eight that is a staggering amount of amulets um oh i can mirror injury that's hilarious i can also recall my guys i am mr t that's a good call man if only i could wear them all like mr t can you imagine that get the mohawk Pity the Fool, 10 amulets on, like the Octopode. If they ever make a giraffe character, the, the giraffe species would have to be able to wear all amulets with a neck of that length. You know what I mean? Top to bottom amulets. I'm looking for that in the next version. Giraffe playable race. All right. These guys are angry, unhinged. Let me step over here. Oh, and we got a centaur. That looks like an artifact, is it not? Yeah. Um, all right. Kind of in a weird spot, so. Might teleport again. Fear does nothing to these undead guys. Um, what kind of potion situation am I at? Oh, can you guys see invisible? No. Um, and I'm sort of... I'm not really that stealthy. But maybe it would buy me some time to uh, go invisible here. Oh no, Psyche as well. I gotta get out of here. Um, do I have mapping? I don't. It is a party. We got whites. We got psyche. Mm, I'm just gonna teleport. This is just bad.
All right. This is a better spot. Okay. Let's try to get back to the staircase so I can escape if need be. I'm going to make some uh, orc, orc allies here. All right, orcs. Help me against this closet of doom. Take him out. Oh, Psyche found us real fast. All right, well, that's fine. I'm going to slip over here. Make sure I'm on the stairwell. And let's see. I have no... Oh, I did get a scroll of identify. All right. Let's check out these potions here. Resistance. I'm actually just going to go... I have four scrolls to remove curse. So I'm going to go up the steps really fast. Heal up. Um, heal up. Oh, I'm rotting. And then... I'm going to put on uh, this ring. It's a plus four ring of evasion. That's totally cool. And then I should probably wear faith so I can climb up the Ured ladder faster. Guardian spirit. That's tempting. Um... Inaccuracy. Okay. And regeneration. I think faith is fair. Out of these choices for amulets, I think I'm fine with it. Like, I could just keep on the regeneration, um, but I don't know how that actually interacts with the ability of mine that makes it so I can't regenerate while enemies are our in sight like I, I my guess would be that it doesn't let me get the regeneration bonus from the amulet of regeneration as long as enemies are on the screen and so that kind of like minimizes its or at least it diminishes its power if that's the case so i'm gonna go over to yeah so i'll go to faith instead get that surge of divine interest get our mp back um and let me recall my dudes. Do I have any? I have none. That's sad. All right. I don't know if I can take Psyche. But we can always try. Oh, boy. All these mosquitoes coming to take my undead blood. All right. Let me think about my skills for a bit. Uh, I'm actually okay with this. I'd like to get shields up to um, 14 so I don't have to worry about the delay and I can block a little bit better. All right, what are my chances of paralyzing you? 46? Oh, yes, that was so clutch. It was a coin flip. I had one charge left. Um, terrific. I mean, is a plus four scimitar of flaming, like, a consideration? Oh, that is funny. Yeah, they're, they're undead vampire guys, but then we can bring them back. I'm going to pick, I don't know, I mean, it's an interesting thing to consider. I'm going to animate Psyche, by the way. There she is. Human zombie. Come with me, friend. All right, are there any boots? Have we found any? No. What about gloves? Oh, I've got them, but that's right. I don't want to wear them. Cloak. Oh, I've got a good cloak. What am I missing? A decent ring. What about a hat? Are there any helmets? Nah, no. Nah. I need a hat. Griffin, do you have a hat?
Man, I failed to use my ability. It's a 3% fail rate now. Come on. Help me out. It's interesting, but I might have to edit my RC for this guy to turn off Auto Butcher. <laughs> Jesus, I keep failing to use my ability. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, the small diminishment in power because they are... Do I get health when I eat flesh? Whoa. Oh, is that what it means when it says I thrive on raw meat? Thriving is just getting health? Wow. All right, then. Well, then that's way more important than zombie versus skeleton. Good to know. Hashtag not that much experience with a ghoul. But let's get him. Let's... Oh, yeah, I looked at that. It looks sweet. It's the uh, Drain Ambient Life Force. That sounds awesome. Also, Mirroring Injuries. Is that like what the Death Knight does? Um, or There's that enemy that puts Reflect on himself. That's awesome. Yeah, he is. They are ugly. I need to take out this centaur. And the best way to take out a centaur is with a centaur. No, is with this. Um, get him. I need you in my army, centaur. All right. Now go get this guy. Yes. Look at this. Do you see this, rabid? The psyche zombie was using her own plus two dagger of distortion. She, she picked up her own equipment and she sent the ugly thing to the abyss. Jackpot. <laughs> See, so it's that's pretty funny that if you animate a unique, they get to keep their equipment, I suppose, if it's on the tile, or I don't know how that works, but it worked out great. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's true. I wonder if ugly things can even, like in terms of their perception, if it even is a different experience being in the abyss versus being in Dungeon 8 to them, or if it's just all the same. Like they're just like, whatever. I'm just this ugly thing glide around, try to fight stuff. Um, I'm going to just wield this flail, see what it is. It's a flail of a tomato. That's funny. I think that, yeah, I mean, it sounds right. He's probably like, thank you. You did me a favor. You sent me home. All right, cool. I can enchant my shield up. My shield is getting really strong. I had to say goodbye to Psyche. Do the animated allies that you make persist indefinitely on the floor that you make them? Like, if I go back, are they just hanging out there, just waiting? That's sweet. So you can just go back and check in on them. Like, you know, hey, how's it going? Anything happened since I've been out? Crimson Imp. I'm marked, by the way. I'm just going to wait for it to go away. There's the lair. Sky Beast. Sky Beast. 
Oh, that's an interesting way to think about it, Snack. That's a great idea. Yeah, if... Whoa, look at the Sky Beast zombie form. It's like a griffin. Well, whatever. As long as it's on my side. Oh, monkey. Oh, no, I need the chunks. Need the chunks. Why is it that when I have chunks of flesh and I'm hungry, normally my auto explore will eat before it goes? But this will leave me at hungry. Is it because they want they want me to be able to save my chunks of flesh if I if I want to save them for an injury or something? Oh, oh, okay. The question about it though is Isn't it still the case that meat just like eventually rots completely away, or can they eat chunks of flesh even if they're rotten yeah so what i have to just keep on top of this and eat them because they could fall off i could waste them basically it's interesting interesting okay so i need to just eat them more regularly i just need to be on top of my hunger a little bit more mm. um Eh, I'm going to try the injury mirror. See how this works out. I don't know if anybody's actually hit me yet. You know what would be insane? Is if... Um, If, if you blocked with your shield, if that still ref if that reflected the damage also, you know? That'd be a nice little uh, fringe benefit of the mirror. All right. Okay, so we could do the layer. Cool thing about the layer is um, I'm immune to poison. I'm pretty sure about this. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Do you mean that the piety is consumed each time the mirror goes off or just when you use the mirror? I'm like 95% sure about this, but if I attack with unarmed and I have claws against a Hydra, I don't make more heads, right? It's a bad ability. Well. Oh, no. Okay, great. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to make more Hydra heads. I didn't realize that it used piety each time that it activated. No, I don't want to lose piety. Yeah, that is... That doesn't sound very attractive. Alright, who wants to be in my army? Oh, I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to turn on the uh, bot. I gotta go to... I'd have to go to Lom Lobot's Twitch chat. I forgot. Wow, square root of damage done per hit? That doesn't sound good. Alright guys, I need some flesh. Alright, now you can be my buddy. You can be my buddy. Ooh, here's a lot of guys. Alright, we found the Orcish Mines, everyone. They were here all along. All right. Bad, ah, whatever. Let's go down here.
Oh, okay. I gotta go get this plate armor. That the uh, orcish warrior that I killed must have had some. I gotta go get that. Um, I will in a second. Let me just throw a javelin at this guy. My dudes are gonna get torn apart. This is actually kind of hard. Um, having the knight there to boost the guys. I don't know if I want to mess with that right now. I will mess with... Well, let's take this guy up the steps. I know you're all buffed out on steroids, but... Um, you're dead. Alright, let's go... Um, let me find the plate armor and go pick it up. And then get it. And then wear it. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start training armor because I haven't really done it. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'm not interested in burning through Piety like crazy because I want to like continually get um, dudes on my team and have access to the other abilities. All right, Orcish Knight... Can I get you by yourself? Do I have any potions that are worth a damn against you? Not really. Oh, I actually got a artifact amulet. I didn't notice that. Um, interesting. What are these white potions? Heal wounds? That's great. I'm going to bring you up. You know what I'm going to do, though? Um, <laughs> that's hilarious, Rabbit. I know. They want to shoot me. I'm actually going to use... Um, I know we. I just talked the crap out of it. I'm actually going to use Injury Mirror to help me beat this guy. Look at that. He hit me with his plus zero dire flail. Did you see his hit points go down? That was pretty funny. I lost a pip of piety. And I lost more piety, but I killed him. So in a situation like that, where it's like, I, you know, I don't know if I could take that guy without that ability, but I lost a huge mass of piety. I know, it dropped all the way down. Like, I lost abilities. I know. It's because he had a dire flail, and he hit me three times with it. He was just... I think he did, like, 50 damage to me with that dire flail. So that was a significant loss of piety. I don't plan on using that ability very much. I just thought it would help me in that, like, you know, situation like this. Um, I can lose all my piety, but maybe kill this guy. Yeah, see, um, he just got wrecked by his own giant spike club there. Yep, he just lost again because of the reflection. It, you know, it's one of those things like where this point in the game against red enemies, I don't quite have enough in the tank to get them. All right. Um, can I animate this guy? Yeah. Ooh, and he picked up his club. Look at that. That looks sweet. This guy is my buddy. I'm going to just travel nice and slow and bring this two-headed ogre skeleton with the giant spike club everywhere I go. I'm like Rocket with uh, Groot, you know? I'm just like, I got my, uh, my muscle. All right, let me check out... I'm going to... No, I can't... I need to get an identify scroll for that amulet. No, I don't know if that... Yeah, you're right. I don't know if it would make more heads or not. It doesn't sound good. All right, let me, let's get this dude here. I'm going to use it again. I'm going all in on injury mirror, everybody. You offer yourself 
to your red and are filled with unholy energy. I wonder what it feels like to be filled with unholy energy. I mean, it doesn't sound appealing to me, but, you know, hey, I get whatever. I'm not going to judge. Um, look at my two-headed ogre. It hit that bastard twice. And then he's trying to hit my ogre. So I actually might not lose any piety here because he's trying to hit my skeleton. 100% I am making... Aw, oh, I didn't get a corpse. He did lose a head, but he can still swing two clubs, which is all we care about. You know what I mean? As long as he's got two clubs... All right. We got a primo target here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Rabbit. Yeah, it, that I think that describes it well. Add in, like, a good bit of uh, crystal meth, and, you know, you're right there. Did you guys ever see that movie with uh, Johnny Depp? I think it's, I want to say it might even be Roman Polanski, but like it's uh, its called like the, the Ninth Gate or the Seventh Gate or whatever. And there's <laughs> people tried to like open up a portal basically for, you know, the devil to come out of hell. And uh, the dude at the end of the movie he thinks he's made the portal. This is a big spoiler. And he like sets himself on fire because he believes he's filled with the unholy energy that we're talking about. And he's just like, I feel no pain. And then about two seconds later, he realizes that he does feel pain and he's on fire. That's, that's kind of what I think it feels like, except maybe y you actually get its real power. It's not like fake, fake devil power. All right, what do we got? Identify, I will buy that. Teleportation is just fine. Enchant weapon I don't really need right now. Disintegration is okay, but it's pretty expensive. I'd prefer a different type of wand, one that wasn't, like, resistible. Acid would be very nice. I'll take this Identify Scroll and um, this... Yeah, but I'll take the Teleport Scroll while I'm at it. Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to put this on the shopping list just to remind myself that it exists. Step out. Let's go ahead and identify this Artifact Amulet. It's funny, but it basically becomes just a magic resistance amulet. Is it slow when you take it off? Is that how it works? Or is it just randomly make you slow? Yeah, so it randomly makes you slow, maybe when you take damage, or just over time, or just it may slow you when you take damage, right? Um, and then it gives you spirit shield. But I don't need to resist negative energy. Eh. I don't know. I think my Amulet of Faith is probably... Uh, I kind of like it a little bit better right now. I'm not 100% against that Amulet, but... Um, Alright. So this is Dungeon 10. And we have a big dude that we can, like... I could dip into the Orcish Mines and then just bring guys out. And then they'd, like, come up the steps with me. And then my two-headed ogre would be waiting at the top of the steps just to bash their head like a whack-a-mole with his two giant spike clubs. 
it's it's almost too good of a plan not to employ um but i don't know if i want to do the orcish mines over the layer right now i think i probably want to mess around in the layer for a bit then come back for the orcish mines yeah it seems good but i'm super pumped like we are 11th level and we're still alive with this character we've got zombie powers plate mail crazy Yuif gave us an awesome cloak and you know all things being equal i'll take it so um i think i'll stop our adventures for this evening right here with us at d10 so we cleared the first 10 levels got up to 11th level and um you know this two-headed ogre skeleton will be here when we boot the game back up he'll just chill indefinitely we can talk do they ever get their health back i wonder probably not right um i don't know if like your red will heal them or something like that um but he's hurt but he's still, he's still a trooper. He's still with us. And we'll pick up tomorrow and try to clip a little of the layer, see how that feels. Maybe do some workish mines and dip down to maybe like dungeon 12-ish. But we've got lots of places to go. Lots of corpses to animate. Generic undeads never heal. That's too bad. Well, his service will not be forgotten. And he's still alive. I mean, and when I say alive, I mean undead, alive, however you... He's not dead, he's undead. Whatever, he he has some unhealth or health, I don't know how you explain his status, but he's there. Alright everybody, I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will check you guys tomorrow. Take care. See you, rabid. Take care of your nonsense. See you, snack. Good night, everybody.